Well, I'm laying around here. I need to be out doing something, but I decided not to. Uh, anyway, uh, the uh, uh, you've seen the uh, the latest uh, GoPro I've got, the the new nine. Uh, this is a DJI Osmo. It's been sitting around gathering dust a bit, and I was within inches of selling it, trying to make up for the huge hit that the uh, that the GoPro nine put into me. And I decided I would keep it for a while. Uh, and uh, the the reason I'm not using the uh, the uh, GoPro nine very often is I like to have protective coverings on my uh, on my cameras. If you notice, this one is one that's basically built for uh, for water. Uh, but I do use these. If you look down here at the bottom, I I honeycombed it right around where the speaker is on the Osmo, so I can use it inside the case. The case is not in there for protecting. You do see a little few chips in there. I've got to clean that out. But it's not in there for protection. It's in there for, to some degree, impact protection. But if you drop it, basically, it's so close that you're not going to get a whole lot. But I, I do want to prevent lenses from getting scratched and things, and I'd rather scratch the plastic than the lens on this. Uh, so that's basically why I do this. Um, the uh, GoPro 9, uh, I have ordered a protective covering for it, but when you're ever out there on the edge and you get something early in this production cycle, you do inherit some problems. These protective uh, cases and stuff usually come two to three months after the camera hits the marketplace. And because the new... Uh, GoPro 9 is thicker and a different dimension than the other GoPros. The old cases don't work. Uh, this is, of course, is a case protected for this DJI Osmo. So basically, I'm going to be going out and carrying this, and I'm going to be using this. This is a, a neck hold for it. So what I can do is wear this upside down when, I'm, when I want to be somewhat still. See, I still got a camera around my neck. So, you know, I will stand out. But if you notice this black tape here, that's to cover the red light that indicates it's being used. Now, when I do this, I'm never invading anybody's privacy. In fact, whenever I use this, I spend most of my time cutting people out and changing the, uh, the size in, in, in production to show what I want to show and not people's faces. Of course, with everybody wearing masks now, uh, it's, uh, well, 90% of people wearing masks now, uh, it's not invading people's, avoiding invading people's privacy is is much easier. But, uh, you know, I just do the editing required and I don't focus on people a whole lot in my videos. Uh, and nobody who doesn't, who doesn't know they're being uh, uh, videoed is in my videos. So, uh, normally. Now, if they're wearing a mask, they might get in there because I'm not actually invading their privacy. But I just want to give you a quick look at this. I'm going to be using this. You might have seen my toes down there because I am actually laid down, stretched out with my shoes off. In any case, I want to give you a quick look at this, the DJI, the DJI Osmo. I've had this one for a while. I haven't used it much, but since I've, uh, I'm waiting probably two or three more days to get a protective covering form for my uh, GoPro uh, 9, I guess it's black. Uh, GoPro 9, uh, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to carry it out. I got an, another one of these, exact same size, exact same product, and I'll put that on because, you, as like I say, I like having, if not stealth, I like portability, and carrying a camera and pointing at people is not great. I just like to point my body at the target and hope I can get enough of it in to edit it. So that's basically what I'm doing with this. I just want to give you a quick look, and I hadn't seen these before. Of course, uh, it looks like it's from an Asian manufacturer, but this will work. Uh, see, you, look, you drop this over your head, and it acts like a necklace, and I'll, I'll show it in practice in the near future. And you would just lay this on your chest. If you've got a large chest or you've got, uh, you exercise, if you're a male, uh, then, uh, and if you're female, you know, you, you, there are other issues there. So it, you, it still would allow you to point it or get it at a flat level, and that's the major reason. Now, the thing is, uh, of course, with these, you can use your camera 
uh, when you're when you're in the application and use the Bluetooth connected to this to sort of get an idea of how to set it up. Uh, you can use your camera on your phone, in this case, what I'm using to record this. So I just wanna give you a quick look at this. And this is the DIYs. I'm gonna bring it out and I'm going to create more videos. I, I was gonna wait a while to create this video till I get the perfect. I'm just gonna create videos. I do not get a lot of, uh, a lot of people watching my videos. I want to make it as comfortable as possible for me. And then maybe by getting the, getting the stick out of my butt, trying to make it a classic video, people will watch more of them. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.